I think I'm really on the right, the right track now and I, and I want to share with everybody what I'm doing because the results happen real quick. Hi, my name is John Jaquish. I'm a doctor of biomedical engineering. It gives me a unique perspective beyond what a lot of the sports scientists talk about on social media. I have a different take on nutrition than a lot of the nutrition professionals who I think have been led down the wrong path by industry, the snack food industry. I get questions all the time. What is, what is Dr. J eat? That's changed from time to time. I've run some slightly different experiments, but I, I think I'm really on the right, the right track now. And I, and I want to share with everybody what I'm doing because the results happen real quick. There are days where I am more focused on burning body fat than I am on gaining musculature. So there's really two diets. I, I mean, I suppose you'd call them the cutting and bulking diet, but not really. It's sort of the cutting and normal diet because it's tough recomposing the body. You can with a protein surplus and a calorie deficit at the same time. It's just tough. So he, and by tough, I mean the results are lackluster and um, you're also living a life of extreme difficulty. So here's how I do it. Now, there's gonna be some science that I'm gonna talk about, but some of it is just kind of my opinion because I mean, obviously if I say one thing is easier than another, there's not gonna be any research on a subjective measure like easier or harder, but I can, I can certainly comment on what has been something I could stick to and most importantly, what X3 customers could stick to. I'll get started on this. When I am cutting, when I'm trying to drop body fat, I believe it is your absolute imperative to get the body fat off you as quickly as possible because you're not really in an anabolic phase. You, you want to strip off the body fat so you can see what's underneath. And uh, this, is, this is something that if you spend less time doing it and make that time more effective, you're gonna be a much happier person because then you'll spend more days eating the proper amount of nutritious food. And when you eat the proper amount of nutritious food, you're gonna grow muscle, you're gonna stay lean, and uh, then you won't have to worry so much about the dieting. Many bodybuilders have told me that they feel like their contest prep is the most wasted time of their life because they see muscle shrinking, not growing, and that comes from small calorie deficit carried on for very long periods of time. I don't recommend that. Now, I'm also not a competitive bodybuilder, so if you wanna be a competitive bodybuilder, you probably should see a coach that's specific about this. However, the coaches that I talk to on a regular basis do it much more like I do it. Uh, maybe that's why they like me. Here's what I do. On a normal day where I'm, I'm gonna work out, I'm more focused on building than anything, I'm going to have three doses of Fortigen in the morning. Uh, that's pretty much, you know, I wake up, use the restroom, and then my, my second thing is I make about a liter of hot water and I put uh, 10 grams of creatine and three doses of Fortigen. And I mix that up in warm water. I, I use the chocolate raspberry. So it kind of tastes like a hot chocolate. And then I kind of slowly drink that while I just get ready for the morning. Then I have a second drink just like that. Another 10 grams of creatine and another three doses of Fortigen in yeah, maybe mid afternoon like four o'clock when I get home, when I get home from work. Then I have a big dinner, maybe two pounds of ribeye. Uh, I also like liverwurst, so I might have four ounces of liverwurst. Uh, I like bone marrow, 
but base in you know bone marrow and liverwurst are kind of like a side thing you don't have a meal out of those things maybe 2500 calories i think in all the muscle i put on the most calories i've ever eaten was maintenance meaning i didn't go into calorie surplus uh, with the exception of one experiment i ran for about two months where i was eating more of type of carnivore type program add a surplus and it gave me some great muscular gain results but i did put on some body fat while i was doing that so uh not not particularly recommended i like this way better now on the days where i'm trying to drop some body fat they are exactly the same except i just don't eat dinner so six doses of fortagen 20 total grams of creatine in those two drinks and then when it comes to dinner time i just don't eat anything so basically that's 24 calories in a day and so you'd call it a protein sparing modified fast because that's 300 grams of protein with the fortagen but these don't really count as calories because they're only fragments of proteins so it's not a complete complete nutrient you give the body the essential amino acids and then it assembles the complete protein by grabbing the other amino acids from other things going on in the body. Scar tissue, fat cells, any old cell can be metabolized. So this increases the rate of autophagy. There's a, there's a great study I'll put up for you on uh, how essential amino acids will actually get you into a deeper level of autophagy, meaning cellular recycling. So, you know, when Last couple of years, people were like, wow, it looks like you're getting younger. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, <laughs> thanks. But I look younger from this process. Here's, here's another example. There's a scar here on my chin. I got from a motorcycle crash when I was, uh, I think I was 14 years old. I was riding a dirt bike without a helmet, like an idiot, on a, uh, on a trail that was covered with pine needles. Now you've ever driven over pine needles. Pine needles are like grease under a tire. And so I lost control of the bike and landed. A rock kind of hit me in the chin. And I have had a scar un under the edge of my chin that was maybe as thick as mm, like a piece of copper wire, like a thick piece of copper wire. So it really felt like something in there. But now, after all this autophagy, the scar has been metabolized from the inside, so it's almost gone. My fraternity letters were branded in my arm when I was 20, and you can barely see them now because now they were raised. I mean, this it said Sigma Phi Epsilon very obviously. You can barely see it now because from the inside, the body has been metabolizing these old cells. So that's absolutely anti-aging by any definition. Uh, because the same thing is happening in my organs. The same thing is happening basically in most systems of the body, aside from the brain. So that's an anti-aging effect. And this nutrition program really gets me the most of that while at the same time minimizing all the downsides. And also, the days that I do just six doses of Fortigen, I, I typically do that a week at a time. And in that week, I will take one milligram of GLP-3, which is a micro dose of GLP-3. So I've done a protein sparing modified fast using only Fortigen without the appetite suppression of a GLP. It's eight out of 10 difficulty. If I take one milligram, a micro dose of GLP-3 during the week that I wanna drop as much body fat as possible, that eight out of 10 becomes a two out of 10. I think if you want to do something similar to that? Wow, you're going to be pretty happy with the results and you're not going to suffer. Because that's, that's the thing. Like anything that involves a lot of suffering, like willpower is a very depletable resource. It's renewable, but it's depletable. And if you can just take the edge off of that with that microdose of GLP, man, you're going to do fantastic. I hope this helped. If you disagree with me, please mention it in the comments. I'll see you on the next one. If this video helped you, I want you to subscribe and follow 
I'm gonna put out videos on a regular basis. I think they're gonna help a whole lot of people, especially if you're one of those people that doesn't just instantly grow from lifting regular weights. We've got the answer for you.